Andrew is my first name and I live in the northeast of Scotland. I have the T-Well 3R and I've had it for just a year now. Well, being a windsurfer, I wanted something that was going to be quite responsive and exciting. Um, I've done a lot of shortboard windsurfing. That's how I started sailing, as I said, when I was um, very much younger. But I'm getting a bit in, long in the tooth now, and I was looking for something with the equal excitement but also and, and the control, um, but wasn't uh, quite so extreme as shortboard windsurfing. So I, um, I particularly went for the 3R because it was designed as a solo sailing boat. I like the jamming cleat on it. It gives you a lot of control when you're when you're sailing and uh, the conditions are fairly technical and also the ability to trim the sail um, and have more response and control of the sail which um, I'm getting better at as I sail it more and more. Uh, that's why I like the, uh, the, the appeal of the, the 3R over the other models. I sail mostly on inland lochs in the north of Scotland, Loch Ness being one of them, but also sheltered coastal waters as well. So uh, really wherever I can take it, and that's one of the beauties of it. It's very portable. I'm a, actually a, a windsurfer since a teenager, so I've uh, not done a lot of dinghy sailing, so I had to teach myself on the t -well. Always sailed it solo. Uh, it's been great. I've had it out in all sorts of conditions, including some quite strong winds, um, some of which have overpowered me, but uh, I've got used to what I can, what it can do. Um, but yes, no, it's um, it's been great fun uh, using both the sails, the 6.2 meter sail in some of the stronger winds, but also the seven meter in, in winds up to about 20 knots actually. So it's been yeah, it's been exciting. I think mainly I was surprised about its rigidity, being an inflatable boat. That was something that was a bit doubtful about, but actually in sailing it, I'm very pleased with how rigid it, it feels when you're sailing it. I very much like the quality of the materials. I think they're, they're, they're very, very good and it's very robust and it's strong. You know, when the frame is put together and um, sails up, it's, uh, it's quite a rigid structure. So I think that helps with the rigidity of the sailing as well. Certainly on a broad reach, um, when probably about a 25 knot wind, hiking right out and it's um, been great fun you know, doing that. So yes, it's uh, with, with, with magnificent scenery around me, you can't beat it. Quite hard, well in a way I'm so lucky to live in the north of Scotland, there's not many places in the world you would want to go um, other than up here, but uh, uh, somewhere warmer would be nice. The, the, the water can be quite cold if you fall in. Um, up this way, especially in the winter. So um, certainly um, south of France, somewhere in the Mediterranean would be lovely. Anywhere in New Zealand, I love New Zealand, so I would happily take it there if I could. Uh, but yeah, no, um, just somewhere, some warm, warmer waters would be nice sometimes to take it. <laughs>